Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all about what I wish I knew a month ago when I started my YouTube channel. So as the title suggests, I kind of just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about what I wish someone told me before I started my YouTube channel and any advice for people out there who are thinking about starting a channel or maybe who just did or anything of that nature. I have some notes written down, I have my coffee and we're just gonna sit here and chat. I hope this video is super helpful. Please subscribe. I'm really trying to get to 250 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you could subscribe, that would mean the world to me. But yes, okay, let's just start chatting. So number one and probably the most obvious but also like I just want to say it again it's going to be slow and I mean like I knew it was going to take time to build an audience and get subscribers and kind of make my channel where I want it to go but I don't think I realized just how slow it would be when I posted my first video I posted a story on my Instagram kind of like advertising my channel but I haven't done it again since just because like I'm not super comfortable with it but regardless I think I knew that it was going to take a while but I didn't realize that like just because you post your first video and maybe you'll get a subscriber or two subscribers or like 10 views or 100 views whatever the case is doesn't mean that your numbers are going to consistently increase so like for example there's one video on my channel that has over 500 views and it's my most viewed video but videos i posted after that aren't doing as well so just because one video does really well doesn't mean all the content that you push out after that will do as well i don't know if that makes any sense but basically what i'm saying is your growth and your views and your subscriber rate won't be super steady it could be super stagnant and that's something that you just need to understand and accept going into making your channel another thing on top of that is you need to be making content that you actually enjoy if you wouldn't sit down and click on that video and watch the video that you're posting then no one else will either there was a video i filmed and i was like this video is boring it's not fun it's not enjoyable and even filming it i didn't have fun so i was like why am i going to put this out there hope it gets views and show something that i'm not necessarily proud of. So for example, my first video that I posted was a vlog. It was like a Sunday evening, spend the evening with me type of vlog. And I went into the mindset that my channel is going to be vlogs. I'm going to vlog my life and people will want to watch it. But like thinking back, no one wants to watch my life because they don't know me. Why would someone click on my video on the internet when they can watch a vlog of someone who has millions and millions of subscribers? Just stating the obvious, no one cares what I'm doing on a Sunday night. Like they don't know me, they don't know my life, therefore my Sunday night has no meaning or value to someone who's watching my channel for the first time. So I'm just putting it out there, vlogs are not gonna get you views. I'm not saying don't do vlogs because like for example I will still vlog and I enjoy it I think it's fun and I think it's cool to have those memories for myself even but they're not gonna really boost your channel or at least it's hard for them to boost your channel so just keep that in mind when you're making your videos another thing that I want to say and put out there and I'm sure again a lot of you know this but I'm just gonna say it anyway is do not compare yourself to others if you see a channel that posted their first video on the same day that you did and they have more subscribers or more views than you do doesn't mean that your channel is any less great than theirs is. I have caught myself so many times comparing myself to other YouTubers or small YouTubers and I'm like well why isn't my channel taking off but like I've only been doing this for a month actually when I'm filming this I think it's been like a couple days less than a month so it's gonna take time like I said at the beginning this is a very very slow process and I have kind of needed to accept that, stop comparing myself to other YouTubers, and just focus on my own channel. If you focus all the time that you are comparing yourself to others into your own work, then you're just gonna better your channel in the long run. Next thing that I want to talk about is all about editing and thumbnails. When I first started my channel, I had a terrible intro. I wouldn't even really call it an intro. It was just like a name card at the beginning of my videos that said my name and said what the video was. And then I also had a terrible outro or like end slate. If I was a viewer and I saw my old intro, I probably wouldn't continue watching the video because it wasn't intriguing and it didn't grab my attention. People are gonna think that you don't spend any time editing your videos when in reality it takes hours to edit a video. So I finally sat down and took the time to make an intro that if I saw I would be like that's cool or like that takes time. Same thing with the outro or the end slate. Make it something where if someone gets to the end of your video, they're gonna look at your end slate and be like, 
oh that's cool put your suggested videos on there put your videos that are like that on there put your most recent video on there whatever the case is you need to draw those viewers in and you need to keep them at your channel another thing with editing is thumbnails when I first started my channel I was doing a collage of four different pictures for my thumbnail and I do still think I'll use that style sometimes but I have kind of transitioned into doing like one main picture just because I realized in the collages you couldn't really see what the video was going to be about and although like using one picture does limit your ability to show what the video is about I think it just draws attention into your video if there's a picture of me that's this small on someone's computer then like who cares no one's gonna click it but if someone sees me smiling or holding up what I'm talking about or something like that in the thumbnail then people might be more likely to click it so this could differ a lot throughout channels and it might just be my case that I've noticed that the thumbnails that have just one picture have worked better for me but regardless whatever the case is that you find works for you spend time on your thumbnails make them look nice make them look professional and make them be something that you would click on if you saw the video on your for you page not for you page, that's TikTok, on your homepage. Last thing I wanted to talk about is the entire YouTube algorithm. There are so many videos on the YouTube algorithm and how to hack it or how to figure it out and things like that. And to be blunt, I'm still figuring it out. I don't have it all figured out by any means, but just understand that there is a method to the madness of how YouTube pushes out videos and why they show certain videos to some people and other videos to other people. In order for your video to be shown to more viewers, you need to take the time to write a title that has keywords or that will draw people in and that YouTube will be like, okay, people are watching this, I'm gonna continue pushing it out. I don't know if tags make a difference, but I still do write tags when you're uploading the video. You have a place where you can write tags. I do it, again, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I'm like, I have nothing to lose, so I might as well. But going back into the algorithm is, YouTube wants people to stay on the platform. So if your video is going to cause people to, okay, I watched your video, now I'm gonna go watch another video about the same topic, or I watched your video, I liked your personality, I liked you, and now I'm gonna go watch another one of your own videos, then YouTube likes that. If your video is a video that someone is gonna click on, watch the video, and then exit YouTube, then YouTube is not gonna push it out as much. So really try to draw viewers in and keep them on the website or app or whatever they're using. I know that was a very quick and probably confusing conversation of the algorithm. I am more than happy to make another video about the whole YouTube algorithm if that's something that people are interested in. Again, I'm still definitely figuring it out. I don't have it figured all out, clearly. But regardless, I think that understanding the algorithm is super, super important in order to grow your channel. But yeah, that was basically everything that I wanted to talk about in today's video. Sorry, I keep doing hand motions. It's just how I talk. But um, I really hope that this video was helpful and maybe inspired someone to either start a channel or just to know what to expect when they start a channel. Or maybe someone out there watching this already has a channel. And in that case, I wish the very best for you. It would mean the absolute world if you could subscribe. I'm really trying to get to 250 subscribers before the end of the new year. So if you could subscribe and like this video down below, then I would be very, very happy. Also comment down below if you are a small youtuber I would love to become friends and support each other on this platform, but yeah, that's it for today Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time